In today's news, we have an interview with the executive chairman of MicroStrategy and a Bitcoin maxi, Michael Saylor, breaking down the real reason the global elites hate crypto, or more importantly, why they hate you owning crypto. You ever try to carry a gold bar through an airport? Very heavy. Uh, yeah, try it next time. You know, they won't let you through, right? In fact, if you tried to carry $100,000 of gold through an airport, not only would you not get through, but the assumption would be you're a criminal, you stole the gold, and they would just take it and keep it without a court order. Now, try to carry $100,000 of cash through the airport. <laughs> you ever try that? Uh, you can put it in a bag, and as you're walking through the x-ray machine, just nonchalantly say to the officer, yeah, I'm carrying $100,000 of money onto the airplane. You won't get through. Now, not only will you not get through, they'll just take your money. They'll just take it, and the assumption will be you stole it, okay? So cash is a unit of control. Now, put $100,000 in a bank and try to wire it uh, to someone, or just take it out, and they're going to ask you why. Tell them it's none of their business. <laughs> try to send it to someone privately, to a, a numbered Swiss bank account, right? See how that works. That won't work. That's a system of control. Bitcoin is the one network you can't control. Nobody can control Bitcoin. So if you're insecure about being able to own your own money, do you own it? And can you actually use it without asking somebody's permission? Then the solution is not gold, it's not silver coins, it's not stacks of cash, it's not money in a bank in the US, it's certainly not money in a bank in Lebanon, Argentina, anywhere in Africa. The one network uh, that you have that gives you a decent chance of owning your own money and then being able to spend it the way you want is Bitcoin. So this is the benefit cryptocurrencies provide, especially if you had your own hard wallet, you'd have full control and ownership over your money. Now, where Michael Saylor highlights Bitcoin, the same can be said, if not more so, for Ripple and XRP, as Ripple and XRP have been playing the long game, disrupting a financial system infected with greed and corruption. And as we can hear in this interview with Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, quote, when I zoom out and look at where Ripple sits in the blockchain and crypto ecosystem, we are incredibly fortunate to be the only company with real customers solving real problems. This is precisely the reason why Ripple and XRP are solving a multi-trillion dollar problem and that's why XRP needs to have a higher price. We will see XRP soar to the moon in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, be a good day and good night.